so now is the time. And even if they were over the age of 18, as some of my clients were, there are still ways that we can bring those claims. For me, this is about justice for the victims. And one of the reasons why I represent five Jeffrey Epstein accusers, and I'm talking to many more, is because they want answers. I believe that they are entitled to full and fair compensation for their injuries, and we're fighting for that. But they also want to know, what about all of the other people involved? And there have been a lot of theories about very high-ranking people in this world uh, being involved, being co-conspirators, passing girls around, trafficking in underage girls. And that's what's alleged here as to Prince Andrew. You know, years ago, he was called Randy Andy by the British press, the Playboy Prince. Uh, so. We know he was fairly close with Jeffrey Epstein. He says their relationship was such that when he had to break it off after Epstein was a convicted sex offender, he felt that he needed to fly to New York and spend four days with him in order to say goodbye. That's a pretty close relationship. So I don't think it's much of a stretch to say that perhaps, uh, you know, more was shared than just words between the two of them. It's great that he's stepping away from his royal duties, but it's really not about that. It's about justice and accountability for the victims. So it's important that he says he's going to cooperate with law enforcement. He should also answer questions from all of the accusers' attorneys, especially the attorney for Virginia Roberts Jufrey, who has very significant claims against him. He should turn over any and all evidence he has, emails, texts, calendars, all the normal stuff that you turn over when you're in litigation. And he should have his staffers and security personnel also talk to law enforcement because they could help us determine where he was, when he was there, and what they saw. So all of that is extremely important so we can get to the bottom of what happened. It's a new age where we expect, at a minimum, compassion for the victims. And Prince Andrew didn't show that at all. Even when he was asked, he just didn't show it. He didn't have it in him. And I think that's where he's been attacked the most. He also was terribly inconsistent on some of his uh, statements, which make him look not credible. That's a problem, because he's accused of sexual assault himself. With Jeffrey Epstein's passing, we're not going to get justice for him on the criminal side. But we are going to get justice for the victims on the civil side, and that's what I'm fighting for every day on behalf of my clients. But we have to know who else was involved, who knew what was going on and helped him, who else molested underage girls or young women. I think momentum is actually picking up since he died, and that's because there's a little bit less fear on my client's part. They still have fear because nobody wants to come forward in a high-profile case and tell a story about being sexually abused. But at least they don't have to worry about Jeffrey Epstein coming after them. We are definitely only scratching the surface, and Jeffrey Epstein traveled in the highest circles, not only in the U.S. and in the U.K., but around the world.